pee. Because every time you eat food, your teeth get dirty. Not yet. No, it's good. You've been doing a good job at taking care of your teeth. Do you want me to pull them out? No. No. I got it. Put your hands. I'll just take your whole head. It's head. I want the back. But I can play ball with it. Throw yeah. it up in the air. You catch it. Did you catch it? You put your head back on. My brain just Ah. You be back by head. Got you. From your head at the beat. <laughs> Chloe. Chloe, go get it. Good morning. Last night we had an interesting night because our... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Can mommy tell a story? Alright. Last night was an interesting night. <laughs> because the battery kept dying last night and we had to run the engine several times to get the battery to keep going. Um, and then this morning Mark said that there must be a short circuit. So we investigated and saw that our positive terminal onto the battery was loose. So I fixed it. It's all good. Things that you learn as you are becoming more self-sufficient living on the road. I wouldn't have known a thing about electricity beforehand. Poor Mark is very tired. He woke up like three, four times last night. <laughs> we are off to the shops. <laughs> We're going to go get some food because we've run out of food. That's the one thing about living in a van is that you only have a very small fridge and you have to go shopping every couple of days to get food. Especially if you eat as much as I do. <laughs> and then we're going to get petrol as well. So, and then we'll find somewhere to spend the day. Another thing about living in a van and having all your possessions in a moving vehicle uh, is that <coughs> things fall down a lot. So we um we heard a crash and we're fixing it up. I think our air conditioner fell down, so we're trying to fix that up.
it's not me. Are you I make Jason tacos and the only thing that he wants to eat is bread with sauce and that's it. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Hear that noise. Hey guys, so we made it to Byron Bay last night and we stayed, we went for a swim at the beach and then we stayed at this beautiful rest area the night. Um, it was really nice there except for the fact that people have misused the place and using it as a bathroom and not cleaning up after themselves is pretty disgusting. So if you guys want to camp here, in Australia <laughs> or wherever you are please be respectful of the land that you are at and clean up after yourselves because it ruins it for everyone else and we don't want to be like that we want to share the land we want to share the world we don't want to be making disgusting messes everywhere and making it gross for everyone else so <coughs> be respectful please be respectful so today we're just gonna explore wander around the place see what we find and yeah we'll see what we find yeah. hi. hi thank you for watching guys i thank will thank you for watching guys <laughs> um if you like this video please like subscribe video. and thumbs subscribe up and thumbs share up. with your friends um and i will see you next time <laughs> bye